Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good today. This is Oklahoma History Hunting, and I, of course, am your host, Justin Finley. So today, first video I've made in probably about a year, if not a year and a half, but we're going to have a lot of fun today on this episode. What we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be going after something, what I'm calling, the Phantom Road Treasures. What it is, is just over here to my right, there was a road. It's now nothing but forest, heavily wooded forest, as a matter of fact, uh, except in certain spots. Well, as it turns out, between around 1945 to 1958, there was a road that used to go through there, uh, quite heavily used by all kind, you know, by cars, trucks, and so on. There were several houses through here that, of course, now are woods. Uh, one of them, of me and several others, have actually already metal detected and found a great deal of items and relics and coins, even, that range from the 1800s up into around the 1930s, 1940s. Even just back over here to my left, there was even a house site that was standing there around 1910 to around 1928. And all of a sudden, poof, just disappeared. A lot of the houses around here, there's no explanation as to why they just... Poof, gone. Uh, it does seem that they all pretty much burned down. But is that the reason why the road was dismantled and, or rather dismantled, but uh, uh, taken completely off the map and deserted after almost 20 years of use? I don't know. But there is a house down there, and according to the photos, it's a very large house. And, well, it was probably built around 1945, 1948, from what, I'm, from what I'm seeing. And it is actually completely gone by 1957. About 1957, 1958. So, we're going to go and we're going to travel down the Phantom Road. And we're going to see just what kind of goodies that they may have left us behind. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we go find Oklahoma's history. Ah, hey you guys. Okay, so we're back out at it. I've uh, been here for eh, probably about an hour or so. Haven't got a whole lot of signals. Um, but then again, there's a lot of downed trees back here. It Plus it took me probably, probably at least 45 minutes or so just to find the house. Um, got several signals, got a few old shotgun primers and stuff like that, but I actually got some pretty freaking cool here. Look at the, look at the freaking hole. I mean, my God, I mean, that, I mean, even on the detector, it was coming up like 8 to 10 inches in the ground. And boom! Look at that! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Got ourselves a very nice brass buckle. So, all right. So, we got ourselves a great buckle. And, as a matter of fact, found this. A little bit ago. And it's very hard to see on there, but it says Old Spice After Shave Lotion. Those are pretty freaking cool. I may actually end up giving that to my dad. I don't know. I think that's pretty darn cool, though. So, alright, put that buckle in the pocket. And we do have another signal over here that I was getting. So, I'm going to uh, go back to this and see what we can find. And I'll let you know if it's anything good. Well, hello again, you guys. All right. So, uh, made one heck of a discovery back here in the back. So, the homestead, or, well, rather, not so much a homestead, as the house was just up over here, just on the other side of these trees here. Uh, I decided to go ahead and kind of hike back a little bit, seeing this opening, and also there was a, a fence right here, um, because I actually found some um, some of the old uh, railroad ties that were making up the fence, and part, even part of the fence actually still attached to it. I come down here and look at this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, some of y'all might be wondering, well, Justin, what exactly is it that I'm looking at? Well. 
And yes, I did actually move those over because I wanted wanted to detect underneath. And I actually did end up finding something very interesting. Found this old lipstick too. Well, so here is, for those who don't know what it is, this, my friends, is what's left of a obviously uh, found moonshine steel. Somebody obviously found it at some point and destroyed it, which they typically did back in the 30s and such uh, during Prohibition. Now, is this from 1939 when the house was built? Or could this have been from the homestead that was actually up this way, built in the 1800s? I don't know. I can't really say. Although, I am leaning towards the 1800s just because this wood, which would have been like one of the side walls for the steel, um, much, much older. Also, the fact that it's got a extra large gunshot <laughs> bullet hole in this thing. <laughs> now, the only thing is, though, the bottles, eh, they're not super old, but they're about 20s, though. And then you have this, which I actually found just underneath one of the pieces of, uh, of tan when I lifted it up right here, as you can see the outlining of it. I found this, though. Federal law prohibits sale. That's, that's a whiskey bottle. So, yeah, and then I found a nice little bottle dump over here, but it's all bottles and cans and stuff like that from probably around like the 40s, give or take. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to detect a little bit more out here and then probably head on to work and everything, but pretty darn cool. So, I'm guessing... I think I found the lipstick tube down here. Maybe the uh, liquor maker was getting licked. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will let you know if I find anything else.